On July 20, 1965, the Soviet spacecraft Zond-3 captured a series of remarkable images during its mission to photograph the far side of the Moon. Among the many craters, ridges and plains of this unexplored lunar terrain, one photograph in particular has sparked decades of debate and speculation. The image appeared to show a mysterious tower-like structure rising from the lunar surface, an anomaly that defied easy explanation and has since become one of the most intriguing enigmas in the history of space exploration. The Zond program was part of the Soviet Union's ambitious efforts during the space race, designed to gather information about the Moon and the surrounding space environment. Zond 3 was an uncrewed spacecraft intended to test the feasibility of long-range space travel and to capture high-resolution images of the Moon's far side, which had never been seen by human eyes. The mission was largely successful, with Zond 3 transmitting photographs back to Earth as it passed by the Moon. These photographs provided valuable data on the lunar surface, revealing features that had not been observed by previous missions. However, among these images, one stood out due to its unusual content, a vertical structure that seemed to rise from the lunar surface, resembling a tower or spire. This image, taken from a distance of over 10,000 kilometers from the Moon, has since become the subject of intense scrutiny and debate. The photograph in question shows a portion of the Moon's far side, with the mysterious tower-like structure clearly visible. The object appears to be a tall, narrow formation, casting a shadow on the lunar surface, indicating that it is indeed elevated above the surrounding terrain. The structure's shape and size are difficult to estimate due to the lack of reference points, but it is distinctly different from the natural geological features typically seen on the Moon. From the moment the image was released, it captured the imagination of scientists, astronomers, and the general public. Some speculated that the tower could be a natural formation, perhaps the result of volcanic activity or a massive impact event. Over the years, various theories have been put forward to explain the mysterious tower photographed by Zond 3. The most conventional explanation is that the structure is a natural geological formation, possibly a large monolith or a spire of rock that survived an ancient impact event. Lunar scientists have noted that the Moon's surface is shaped by a combination of impact cratering, volcanic activity and erosion caused by micrometeorites and solar radiation. It is conceivable that a combination of these factors could have produced a spire-like formation. However, this explanation has not satisfied everyone. The idea that the tower could be an artificial structure has gained traction among those who believe that the Moon may harbor evidence of advanced activity. Proponents of this theory argue that the tower's shape and vertical orientation are too unusual to be the result of natural processes. They suggest that the structure could be a remnant of an ancient civilization that once existed on the moon, or perhaps a marker or beacon left by extraterrestrial visitors. This theory is bolstered by the fact that the far side of the moon remains largely unexplored and mysterious. Unlike the near side, which is constantly facing Earth and has been extensively studied, the far side has been visited by fewer missions and remains relatively unknown. The idea that there could be undiscovered artifacts or structures on this hidden side of the moon is both thrilling and unsettling, fueling ongoing interest in the Zond 3 photograph. The mysterious tower on the far side of the moon has had a lasting impact on the way we think about lunar exploration. It has also served as a reminder of how much we still have to learn about our closest celestial neighbor, Despite the many missions that have visited the Moon since Zond 3, including crewed landings during the Apollo program, the far side remains a largely uncharted frontier. One of the most puzzling categories of lunar anomalies involves the appearance of structures that do not seem to fit with the natural geological processes known to shape the Moon's surface. Among the most famous of these is the so-called shard and tower structures, which have been captured in photographs taken by lunar orbiters and during manned missions. The shard is a tall, spire-like object that appears to rise from the lunar surface, casting a long shadow. Similarly, the tower is another vertical structure, but much larger, which some estimates suggest could be several miles high. These structures stand out starkly against the barren landscape of the moon, leading some to speculate that they may not be natural formations at all. The precision of their shapes and their vertical orientation seem inconsistent with the processes of impact cratering and volcanic activity 
that are believed to have shaped the moon's surface. Instead, these anomalies have led to wild speculation that they might be remnants of ancient lunar civilizations, extraterrestrial constructs, or even the remains of some advanced technology. Skeptics argue that these structures could be the result of camera artifacts, lighting effects, or the misinterpretation of natural formations. However, despite these arguments, no definitive explanations have been provided, and the Shard and Tower remain subjects of intense curiosity and debate. For those who believe in their authenticity, these anomalies suggest that the Moon might be far more than just a lifeless rock in space. It could be a repository of forgotten history, or even a base for unknown entities. Another category of mysterious lunar anomalies involves the appearance of unexplained lights on the Moon's surface. These lights have been observed by both amateur astronomers and professional space agencies, often appearing as brief flashes or glowing spots that seem to move across the lunar terrain. One of the most well-documented occurrences of these lights was during the Apollo 11 mission, when astronauts reported seeing mysterious flashes on the lunar horizon as they orbited the Moon. These lights, sometimes referred to as transient lunar phenomena, have been the subject of speculation for decades. Some suggest that they could be caused by volcanic activity, even though the Moon is not known to be volcanically active. Others theorize that they might be the result of meteorite impacts, which could create brief flashes of light as they strike the lunar surface. However, the locations and patterns of these lights often do not match the expected results of such impacts. More speculative theories propose that these lights could be artificial in nature, perhaps the result of mining activities or even the operation of hidden bases on the Moon. Some UFO researchers argue that these lights could be evidence of extraterrestrial craft either landing on or taking off from the Moon using advanced technology that produces these glowing effects. Despite numerous attempts to capture these lights in greater detail and to explain their origins, they remain one of the most enduring mysteries of lunar exploration. The fact that they have been observed repeatedly, yet unpredictably, adds to the intrigue, suggesting that there may be forces at work on the Moon that are beyond our current understanding. The anomalies seen in Moon photographs, whether they be structures, lights or shadows, pose significant questions about our understanding of the Moon and what may exist there. If even one of these anomalies were to be proven as evidence of something artificial or unnatural, it would fundamentally alter our view of the Moon and our place in the universe. These anomalies challenge the assumption that the Moon is a barren, unchanging world. They open the door to possibilities that range from ancient civilizations to active extraterrestrial operations. While such ideas are often dismissed by mainstream science, the persistence of these anomalies suggests that there is still much about the Moon that we do not know. Alongside the well-documented achievements of lunar missions, there exists a less conventional but equally compelling narrative – the sightings of unidentified flying objects above the Moon. For decades, credible observers, including astronauts, astronomers, and even space agencies, have reported mysterious objects and phenomena near the lunar surface that defy conventional explanations. These sightings suggest that the Moon may be a focal point for extraterrestrial activity, raising profound questions about our understanding of the universe. Reports of strange objects seen near the Moon are not a recent phenomenon. As early as the 19th century, astronomers using relatively primitive telescopes began recording unexplained lights, flashes, and moving objects in the lunar vicinity. For instance, in 1874, astronomers at the Royal Greenwich Observatory in England reported seeing what appeared to be a fleet of bright moving lights crossing the lunar surface. These observations, while often dismissed at the time as optical illusions or misidentified natural phenomena, laid the groundwork for the modern UFO narrative surrounding the Moon. As technology advanced, and humans began sending probes and astronauts to the Moon, the number of reported UFO sightings increased. During the Apollo missions in the 1960s and 1970s, several astronauts reported seeing unexplained objects in space and on the lunar surface. These accounts were often kept quiet or downplayed by NASA and other space agencies, but over time they have become part of a broader discussion about the possibility of extraterrestrial presence near the Moon. One of the most famous instances of UFO sightings near the Moon occurred during the Apollo 11 mission, 
the first manned mission to land on the lunar surface. While en route to the moon, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins reported seeing a bright, flashing object that seemed to be following their spacecraft. Initially believing it to be part of the Saturn V rocket that had launched them into space, the astronauts soon realized that the object was too far away and moving in an irregular pattern, making it unlikely to be a piece of their own equipment. This sighting has since become one of the most well-documented and discussed UFO encounters in space exploration history. Perhaps the most intriguing account comes from the Apollo 16 astronauts, who reported seeing weird objects moving across the lunar horizon. These objects were described as glowing and moving at high speeds, characteristics that do not match any known natural or human-made objects on the Moon. In the decades since the Apollo missions, sightings of UFOs near the Moon have continued. With the advent of more advanced telescopes and satellite imaging, both amateur astronomers and space agencies have captured images and video footage of unexplained objects in the lunar vicinity. These include glowing orbs, cigar-shaped craft, and even formations that appear to move in deliberate, non-random patterns. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has been mapping the Moon since 2009, has captured images showing unexplained structures and shadows on the lunar surface that do not correspond to known geological features. Some researchers have suggested that these anomalies could be evidence of artificial structures or craft, possibly of extraterrestrial origin. While NASA has generally attributed these anomalies to natural features or image artifacts, the sheer number and consistency of such sightings have led many to believe that there is more to the story. The consistent reports of UFOs near the Moon, from both historical and modern sources, suggest that these phenomena are not mere figments of imagination or simple misidentifications. Instead, they point to the possibility that the Moon is a site of ongoing extraterrestrial activity, whether as a base, observation point, or something else entirely. The implications of such a possibility are profound. If UFOs on the Moon are indeed evidence of extraterrestrial technology, this would indicate that humanity is not alone in the universe and that advanced civilizations may have been observing or interacting with Earth for much longer than we realize. The Moon's proximity to Earth makes it an ideal location for such activity, providing a vantage point from which to monitor our planet and potentially influence events on Earth. Furthermore, the presence of UFOs on the Moon could also suggest that space agencies have been aware of extraterrestrial activity for decades but have chosen to keep this information from the public. This raises questions about the transparency of space exploration programs and the true extent of human knowledge about extraterrestrial life.